Hello, everybody. How's it here? Welcome, everyone, to Detectives United. Mission Possible. Uh, a new beta server demo by Eleven Games. You guys ready to check this out? Here we go. Good morning, Detectives United agents. I've received information about people going missing from a town called Mist Hill. Some evidence points to the presence of wild animals that coincide with the disappearances. The agency is assigning the case to you. Good luck, and be careful. So you play as a different detectives in the game. You are now playing as... Ewan Florence. Specialties, ability to stop time. What? I don't remember this detective, guys. Was he in the last game? In the series? After James Blackthorne retired from the Detectives United team, Anna and Dorian decided to move to a new office instead of rebuilding the old one after the explosion. James is now retired, guys. It is strange without James here in this series, in this game. Agent Shade mentioned some strange things happening in the town of Mist Hill that we need to deal with. I've never heard of it. What do you think, Dorian? I don't know who would want to kidnap those people or what wild animals have to do with it, but we should head over there and find out. Well, Ewan, I suggest you lead the mission. This is your first task, so make sure you prepare thoroughly. And remember what I taught you. Here, take this. You might need it. I am your disciple. <laughs> it's my first case, my first mission here. Cool backpack. My first task. She get ready. Don't want to let my colleagues down. Alright. Let's get ready, guys. Prepare for your new mission and... Uh, and... And something else. <laughs> New objective. Uh, Dorian always says it's only impossible to be late if no one is waiting for you. Should hurry up. And uh, Anna Gray <laughs> is readying herself, guys. Oh, it's a case of her uh, appearance. Yes, putting on her makeup. So Dorian, Nick, and my Dongness again. Just bought them this morning. <laughs> well, I should have bought enough for everyone, guys. It's my mistake. <laughs> Hello, agents. This is Agent Shade. I'm sending you a document confirming your consent to test your abilities. All Detectives United members are requested to sign. This is a formal procedure and does not oblige, uh, obligate. <laughs> does not obligate you to do anything. Thank you. So, oh, we signed already, guys. Oh, three signatures. USB flash drive. Oh, look at that. Richard, guys. Anna's work area. I'm lucky to be men mentored by such famous detective. She helps me control my ability to stop the time. So this is Richard and his wife. Anna's parents in the picture. They're both gone, guys. <laughs> Anna Gray's parents, I know that they've been dead for a long time, but I haven't dared to ask what happened. Dorian Brown. Uh, oh, James is gone, guys. Poor James. But at least he is now married. <laughs> he is retired. I wonder if he has another job or not. Anyway. Uh, Dorian Brown, unknown, about 35 years old. Invisibility and ambidexterity. Hannah Gray, 31 years old. <laughs> about 31 years old and getting younger, guys. Next game, she will probably be 29. <laughs> Abilities, time travel using personal items linked to the past. And Ewan Florence, 25 years old, the youngest. In dangerous situations, he can briefly stop time. A very cool ability, guys. A code.
USB Drive. Uh, how do we... Oh, it's blank. Why is it blank? So put this in here. Upload data onto the connector somehow. Upload data. But this is a blank USB drive. Where do we download the information? Using my computer. Handcuffs. Uh, mirror compacts. Find the missing items. Uh, so we have the walkie-talkie. Handcuffs. Ready, Ewan? I hope you remember how to use the walkie-talkie. Now, we just need to enter the coordinates into the connector. Here, go find your pass in the file cabinet. Then use my computer. It contains geographic data for the south coast. Tobia said his computer contains all the geolocation data for the place we need. Enter the location coordinates. Anna Gray, she is the daughter of Richard Gray, the master of the dark arts, whose soul is embedded in the skull that Anna carries with her. Uh, carry the guys, past tense. <laughs> she no longer carry the skull with her. <laughs> As a result of conflicts with her father, she gained eternal youth during a ritual. And she is smart, she is fearless, and she is, has strong leadership qualities. So, gives me the creeps when I see Richard Gray's ghost. How can Anna carry his skull with her everywhere? Have I seen that ghost, guys? I thought this is a new character, a new detective. I seriously don't remember this guy. <laughs> Who is Ewan? Letter of thanks. And on behalf of our town of Rasview, I sincerely thank you for saving his residence and eliminating the flower threat. Please accept my sincere congratulations on solving this difficult case. Know that the gates of our town will always be open for you, the mayor. So wasn't there when Detective United investigated the case, but I heard it went deep into Dorian's past. Because I am new. <laughs> In the past, my doppelganger, the Dark Anna Grey, with the help of the DU agents, tried to get a device that would save her world from the climate threat. I had to convince my colleagues that despite her bad actions, her goal was noble, and she deserved a second chance. She has a big heart, and this note from her proves it. A very big heart, guys. Nothing on the picture. A stapler. Pencil. Ace. There's no option to open the zipper. And oh, this is even Florence, guys. Lost his parents in early childhood and grew up in a foster family. With Anna Gray's help, he discovered he was born in the family of people who protect our world from mysterious magical creatures. In dangerous situations, Ewan stops time and does what he can to help fix it. He is fond of detective stories and occultism. He recently became a member of the Detective United Agency after James left. Amusing, brave, well read. I'm extremely grateful to Anna for saving me and bringing me to Detectives United. I seriously don't remember you! <laughs> Where did you come from? Well, it's gotta be the last game, guys, the previous game, right? I don't remember you at all. Very strange. 
Am I that unforgettable, guys? This is my character now. DNA. DNA strand. Paperclip. It's gotta be one somewhere. No paperclip. Oh, this is new! <laughs> Dorian Brown, an experienced detective who's been solving mysterious crimes for many years. He previously opposed the Mystery Tracker's order, but later joined it. The additional information is classified. He is now a Detective's United agent. Dorian is invisible, and so he must wear clothes covering his entire body. Personality traits, straightforward, rude, <laughs> sarcastic, a strong sense of duty and responsibility. Is he rude? I don't think so. <laughs> I wouldn't classify him as rude. Aaron Florence, DU agents. This is proof that I am the member of the club. So, yes, uh, Anna. <laughs> Oh, he's still working on the makeup, guys. Okay, let's take a look at uh, look at this. How do we use this? <laughs> From the oh, there are two different computers here, guys. Can I use this one? Is this possible? No. I'm gonna try this again, one more time. No. Upload the files. Connector somehow, connector guys, a cable. We need a cable, oh, let's, use, let's use a hand here. What am I supposed to do here? Use, use this, I Oh my god, there is a connector box here. USB connector, guys. So I click on the wrong part of the screen. Now we use the pass. A digital pass. Alright, data automatically downloaded now. Select matching pairs of symbols on the map edges to connect them and find where they intersect. Matching symbols. Oh. Okay. <laughs> matching symbols. Mistail. Who is driving? <laughs> Watch out! Ooh. Anna, Ewan, are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, thankfully I was wearing my seatbelt. <sighs> well, that's a relief. We better get out of here. Whoa, what Wait. is that? What's this? Sleeping gas. Close. Now playing as Anna Gray. Ability to travel into the past. What was that? I've got a splitting headache. How did I end up outside the car? Wait what? a minute. Where are Dorian and Ewan? Why? I need to make sure they're all right. Why is a skull there, guys? Why? <laughs> Examine the scene. I'm in Come on, what? Pick me up. Don't just leave me on the damp ground. Why is Richard Gray back? 
<laughs> Why is he back? I don't get it. Why? We, we know Anna's mother is no longer in the game, in, in the series, guys. Right? But now Richard is back, somehow. <laughs> How did you get back here? What happened to you, Richard? Well, let's talk to Richard, guys. You had me worried for a second. I'm relieved to see that you're safe and won't be joining me as a spirit anytime soon. Someone clearly doesn't remember their dearly departed very well. Whenever you contact me through my skull, I help you. So I'd say I deserve a little bit of care. I feel like we just went through an earthquake. Well, I'm glad you are back. <laughs> Papa Richard. <laughs> and when did you become so absent-minded? Here. I picked this up by the car while you were resting. Richard Gray, the bearer of gifts. It brings back memories of you as a child. You always scattered your toys around, and I had to pick up after you. Oh, children. Good luck, daughter. We should always find time for inappropriate jokes. I wonder if the timeline here is different than the one in the Grim Tale series, guys. Maybe this game takes place not at the end of the series timeline. Maybe somewhere in the middle when Richard is still around. Right? But we still see the picture earlier. Richard and uh, his wife. Anna's mother. I don't, I don't know what's going on here, guys. I'm just shocked. Very shocked <laughs> to see Richard here. Detective K to examine the tracks. There's blood and there are shoe prints. Miss him. I can make a torch with the gas canister. According to the information I discover, rumors of strange humanoid beasts appear before people disappear in Mistyl. This all reminds me of the Four Aces organization's experiments on people, but are any of them still alive? The Four Aces. This seems vaguely familiar. The Four Aces, guys. This is from the Mystery Trackers series. Mystery Trackers. That was a very long time ago though. One of the earlier games. Spray nozzle. So it needs fire. So that's a connector. I think that's what it is talking about here. Yeah. Someone planted this sleeping gas grenade when the car overturned. A blood sample, eh? Find four pairs of shoe prints. 
Oh, blood. Bless me, yes, guys. Blood rains. The blood. Whose blood is it? And now, the brains. Ewan's light eye. If this is blood. This is where any choices of Dorian and Ewan and uh, she take a closer look at a contaminated blood trail to find out where they went. The blood trail. Let's take a look here. Does it lead into the Miss Hill area? Soda Street. Don't like the fog. It is as if someone's controlling it. I do not go in there and they will find out where my teammates are. I yeah, we need to go find Orion, guys. Need to ask him about the four aces. Yeah, I'm sure he knows something about this. Screwdriver. Refuse. Fuses. Dollar coin. We create a picture so I can drag image pieces where they belong on the board, and pieces snap into place when arranged correctly. <laughs> Leaves are falling. <laughs> I guess this is a fall, guys. This is autumn. These people are wearing costumes. Baseball bat. <laughs> They're holding modern weapons. The 
man in the white robes have something to do with the four aces and the kidnappings. It scares me that Dorian's badge was left here. Did they catch him too? I don't remember anything about the four aces, guys. <laughs> Played that game very long time ago. So these are the badge. Oh, oh, fuse. It's spare. See bell cutter. UV flashlight, Dorian's glove. A trail! Oh, there are two sets of prints. Dorian and Evan, guys. The four aces! So they, the footprints lead to the restaurant. Get into the abandoned restaurant, and this restaurant has something to do with the four aces, guys. So we're looking at uh, those cards, the ace cards. Is he turning on? Watch something on the TV set. And oh, the compact disc. I thought that is a cassette player, a VCR. But it's compact disc, right? Okay, let's see. These costumes are over dramatic. <laughs> Maybe too much for real life. It looks great on stage. But, uh,. <laughs> it's really happening here, guys. They are not very practical. <laughs> they are just dramatic. So the restaurant is a hideout of the Four Aces organization. Uh, yeah, pretty obvious. Because of the playing cards. The Ace cards. <laughs> 